So race six is the Anne Boleyn Mare's listed hurdle. And Tickle Me Pink is over two and a half miles. Anyway, it's a listed event. Daenerys Tegarin for Leon Rams Frenchburg is number one. Jardine for Pontypool Racing is two. Joshua Southern's Lana Del Rey is three. Court Light for David Lad is four. Charter Saison's for Paul O'Neill is five. Derek Hinton's Emerald High is six. Ryan Costello's Loma Pamar Blaze is seven. And Night and Day for Leon Rams Frenchburg makes up eight. The challenge for the Amberlynn Mare's listed hurdle. I've already got him away. Over two and a half miles. They all skip over the first hurdle. We're going to wait for him to settle down. Another reluctant leader in a Jardine. But, uh, he's happy to take it on now. As we approach the second of the ten. It's Jardine that's going to lead them into it, but we're also taking a keen hold. He jumps over that well. Just uh, slow at the real as Daenerys Targaryen. Game of Thrones. But it's Jardine. Tell a lot by uh, some of the people that name their horses. We all know. Uh, Paul Rhodes likes his detective series. Um, Josh has just, uh, got something to do with white. Plenty of it. Um, I think that goes to <laughs> some of the comments uh, from last year. Um, but anyway, I should get back to the race. So it's Jardine that's leading by about five to Cool Light and Lana Del Rey. The one, two, three. Then Chatter Saisons, Lom, Lomapamar, Blaze up against the fence, and the outside of that is Emerald High. We've got Charter Sazons, the two Leon van Rensburg horses, uh, Night and Day, and Daenerys at Tegarin. Tegarin, Tegarin. I don't know. Has everybody watched Game of Thrones? I'm going to play the Monopoly version of Game of Thrones later. That'll be very exciting for everybody, won't it? As we watch them <laughs> approaching us from the grandstand. Jardines that's going to lead them past the winning post. First of two times. He'll want to be there. He still seems to be a reluctant leader. The pace is okay though. And it's Jardine from Cool Light and Lana Del Rey. And about three back to Chaft Horror Saisons. Night and Day and Daenerys Tigger. And then Lama Pamar Blaze. Emerald High we can't see at the moment for Del. But I'm sure he's there or thereabouts. And it is Jardine. Still taking a keen hold. A mile and a quarter. He's gone through half of this race holding on to this horse. A length and a half back to Cool Light and Lana Del Rey. And a further three back to Daenerys Tigger in Night and Day in Charter Saisons. And a couple back to Loma Pamar Blaze. And we still can't see Emerald Height. She's sitting pretty and high at the back. As we come down to uh, the final mile, and it's Jardine that still leads us. Light and Lana Del Rey. Closing the gap all the time as we go to the fifth. They've gone halfway through the hurdles. Lama Pamar Blaze went through the top of that one. We go over this. Oh, we've lost one. Daenerys Targaryen, the witch from uh, the dragon witch from Game of Thrones, has thrown herself on the floor at a hurdle. So frustrating. But that's one out of the race and one of the fancied runners. As Jardine doesn't go over that at all well, shuffles back and allows Cool Light to take it up from Dark Lana Del Rey the Great. Pushing through again now is Night and Day. Charter Sassons doesn't ask for anything, and they're the only five we can see at the moment. Lama Pamar Blaze and uh, Emerald High are well out of the picture. And they're not going to probably win from there, but it's David Robertson's Cool Light that leads them around the final home bend. And we'll line up for the judge. A couple of hurdles still to take, and it's cool light from Jardine being pushed on out wide is Lana Del Rey up against the fences night and day. Chatter Sazons has finally asked for something and pushing along now, but it's still cool light. Again, not really asked for much, but he's got the rest off of the bridle, and it's cool light from Jardine in second. Night and day against the inside. Lana Del Rey on his outside, but it is cool light as they hit the three furlong pole. Cool light leads by about five. Lana Del Rey, night and day as we go uphill here, and it's cool light. Gets over the ninth of an ultimate. Still got a five length advantage here at Sandown and it's cool light from Lana Del Rey and night and day they're challenging for second position they go uphill here at Sandown and it is cool light cool light by about four we've still got a furlong and a quarter to go and it's cool light from night and day Lana Del Rey they go over the last and it is still cool light it looks like he's got plenty left on this help horse has got four length advantage but inside the final half here comes night and day but it's cool light still hanging on jockey asks for a little bit now but it is going to be David Robert
Robertson. Cool light there takes it from night and day in second. Lana Del Rey was third. Running in for fourth was Jardine. Chatter Sazons were fifth. Lama Lama Blaze looks like he got up for six. So my final race of the day goes to David Robertson as he picks up the Amberlin Mare's listed hurdle with Cool Light. I'm going to pass you over to Martin Leadham. Night and day was second for Leon Renrinsberg. Lana Del Rey for Josh Sutherland was third. Fourth was Jardine for Pontypool Racing and fifth was Chatter Sassons for Paul O'Neill. Over to you, Martin.